Hi everybody and welcome back to our kitchen. I'm Lauren and this is Brittany and we're two of Festival's Dietitians. And today we're excited to share with you a fun take on traditional quesadillas. Yeah, so today we're making barbecue pulled pork pear and cheddar quesadillas. <laughs> So I know your, your ears are probably ringing when we said pear. Pear and a quesadilla, kind of interesting. It really works, though. Um, but we're excited to talk a little bit about pears today. Yes. So pears are one of our day's fresher produce picks. And they're very interesting in that they come in a wide variety of um, flavors. Um, today we're using a Bartlett pear. Mm -hmm. And Bartlett pears are a little bit softer, but they're very, very sweet. Yes, and that makes them perfect for our quesadilla recipe. Yes, and as you can see, these pears right here are very bright. They're a bright green color which means that they're ripe. And mm -hmm. something interesting about pears is that they're actually one of the few fruits that don't ripen on the tree. Right. So they actually ripen after they're harvested. Mm -hmm. So if you pick out a pear in the store, it's not quite this green. Um, it's probably not ripe yet, but there is a way to help speed up that ripening. And mm -hmm. one way that we love to talk about is by putting it into a brown paper bag with maybe a banana or an avocado or something like that. Um, and it'll help ripen a little bit quicker. So yes. these guys are ready to go. They'll be nice and sweet. and you're going to show us how to cut one up, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. So to cut a pear, it's actually a lot easier than you might think. You just cut it uh, vertically. So you have two halves, and so you'll have a flat cutting surface for each side. And then from there, you can just slice it into wedges. And this is great, too, you know, for recipes and things like that, but also... These little wedges are perfect if you're making a specialty cheese board. So maybe you're gathering some of those really fun cheeses from yes. our Belly Cheese Island, um, putting some of the, the pear wedges on there. Pears pair very well with cheese, a wide yes. variety of cheeses. Um, maybe some dried fruits, some nuts, and you have a nice specialty cheese plate. Absolutely, and we actually do have a blog about how to create your own specialty cheese plate, so definitely check that out on festfoods.com slash blog yes. for if you're entertaining anytime soon. Yes, yeah, so these pears are going to, because we're slicing them so thin, they're going to sit very nicely on our quesadillas. Yes. And speaking of our quesadillas, um, we're actually using a different type of tortilla today, too. So, of course, we need a nice tortilla to make our quesadillas. And yes. typically, um, there are some tortillas that actually have trans fat in them. So, today we're using one that does not have trans fat. And then also, it's a whole wheat variety, so we're using our whole grains there. And then it, it also is higher in fiber. So yes. it's a really great tortilla option. Absolutely. And it tastes delicious, too. Yes, this La Tortilla Factory, um, it's probably one of my favorite go-to brands when oh, I'm making. Oh, me too. And they have tortillas. smaller ones, too. So today we're using the, the larger tortillas, but they do make a little bit smaller ones for tacos and things like that. Okay, so now we're ready to actually build our quesadillas and wait to see how hearty these quesadillas actually turn out to be. Yum. So we're using cheddar cheese. Perfect. And cheddar just goes so well with fruit, whether you're using a sharp cheddar, a white cheddar, um, or like today we're just using regular mild cheddar. Um, it just goes really well with Yeah, with cheese pears. in general just pairs very well with pears and apples and a lot of different fruits. Absolutely. That saltiness and that sweetness really complement each other mm -hmm. very well. All right, so next up we're gonna use the... Our barbecued pork. So today we wanted to save a little bit of time and we're actually using our shredded barbecued pork from our deli. So that's a really convenient option, but you could definitely use whatever shredded pork you have on hand at home, maybe some leftovers. And then you would probably just add a tablespoon or so of barbecue sauce um, to the pork. Yes. Oh, it smells so I know. good. The nice thing about using this is it is. It does already come with the sauce on it, so you don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. But it is great to, if you do have the leftovers to add that in. Crock pot is mm -hmm. wonderful too for that. Absolutely. Oh, this is just going to be so nice with those pears. I know. All right, now we can add our pears. So let me actually just. I'll oh sneak in goodness. here and, and grab a couple too. And this is a really fun step too. To quesadillas are just fun because they're really easy to build and get. The mm -hmm. whole family involved in, in building absolutely the quesadilla. All right. Oh, you made yours really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's looks a little bit different, right? No one's going to see it when the other tortilla goes on. Perfect. I'm going to just grab some more cheese. Sure. So now we're just topping it with cheese. This is just going to help the tortillas stick. I'll get a yeah, little bit more you. here. <laughs> Even it out. Perfect. All right, so now we just each put another 
tortilla on top. And we're actually baking these today, which is a little bit interesting. Yes, so they're gonna go in the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes or until the cheese is right nice away. and melted and the tortillas are crisp. So we are baking these today, but you could definitely make them on the stove top in a pan. You can make them in a tabletop grill, or you can even make them on a regular grill. So lots of different options there for quesadillas. I like this way just so I don't have to flip it. It's always a huge mess when I have to do that. <laughs> no. So clever this using this yes. today. All right, so our quesadillas have been in here for about 10 minutes. So we're going to take them out and slice them up. And these quesadillas, they'll make a great meal option, as we talked about earlier. But they're also great as an after-school snack. Or if you're entertaining, they make a great appetizer, too. So mm. it's all about how you slice them and what you pair them with. Yeah. All right. Oh, my gosh. They smell so good. Don't they? And I love how crisp these tortillas got in the oven. Oh, I know. And nothing exploded out, which is a good thing. Now it's all coming out. So it's <laughs> nice and... But that's how we like our quesadillas, well, right? Ooey gooey. Oh, yeah. You bet. So I'm going to slice them into... Let's do some smaller pieces for us today. Yeah, slice them into thirds. That pork just smells so good. I know. I'm excited to try this. All right. So I think this would pair really well. You could definitely, you know, have barbecue sauce to dip it in. Um, or maybe like a corn and black bean type salsa. Ooh, that would be good. Or really any fresh veggie with some dip or something just to round out the meal a little bit. Absolutely. All right, let's give get it a in try. There. I'm going to try this. Hopefully Ooh. I cut it all the way. It's always my... Fault is not getting through. <laughs> Get some of this pork on here. Yes. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's really yummy. And we he like cilantro. cilantro. We're so eager to take those. Bites. I know. This just really is nice too. It provides a nice little extra color on there, and just a little bit of flavor really brings it all together. Absolutely. So now we have our complete meal. <laughs> Well, we hope you give this sweet and savory 20-minute meal recipe a try. And remember, you can always eat well with festival foods.